Africa, a beautiful, warm country filled with great stories and people. A place that is one of the most developed countries in all of Africa, with an amazing population of 50.59 million people, making up slightly more than 5% of the total population of Africa. And this country not only shares borders with other nations, but the vast open waters of the Indian and South Atlantic Ocean. Now welcome to FTD Facts guys, this is the channel where we like to go around the world and look at people's cultures and places from different places than our own. And with that, today we are talking about the powerful nation of South Africa. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dave Wapple and for South Africa, this is a country that, well, we've had people request us to do this country for a long time. And because of that, we gotta thank everybody who suggested this country and for those who are just joining us for the first time, this is a channel where we like to take a lot of recommendations from you, the viewers. So get down there in the comments below and get active. Now before we get in this episode, I want to know what is the best thing about your country? Because a lot of you guys are from different countries, me here, I'm from Canada. I really don't know what I like most about my country because there's so much. But if you guys got a list, put it down there, I want to read and I want to know why. Now if you were to ask somebody to name the capital of South Africa, most people will probably answer Johannesburg. Because it's one of the biggest cities and it just seems like the right thing to say. And even though it is the largest and most financially important city in all of South Africa, Africa, that answer is not actually correct. The truth is, in fact, South Africa has three official capital cities. Pretoria, for example, is the administrative side. Bloemfontein has control of the judicial side of South Africa. And as for Cape Town, it's the legislative capital of South Africa. South Africa is also quite a multi-ethnic and multicultural society. It has one of the most diversified cultures and languages in the entire world. And although in history there's been a lot of problems over race and culture within the country. The nation has 11 official languages recognized in the constitution. Those are English, Afrikaans, Indibele, Pedi, Sotho, Venda, Hosa, and that is Hosa with a click, that's how you pronounce an X, Swazi, Songa, Swana, and of course Zulu, with Zulu being one of the most spoken languages. And as for South Africa, it definitely has a record. Because there is no other country in the world that has as much official languages as this country. Now South Africa is also considered a treasure trove for archaeologists and paleontologists. The country alone has produced some of the world's oldest and most valuable fossils to date. And of course about a fifth of the world's gold comes from mines in South Africa. And speaking about digging and moving earth around to find these treasures, let's talk about the ground itself. Because every year South Africa moves about two inches farther away from South America. And this is a subtle continuation of what is known as the continental drift. Now when it comes to health and sciences, the doctors of South Africa have done something that nobody else has. And that is the first ever heart transplant was carried out in the country. This was done at the Groot Sure Hospital in Cape Town. In 1967, the operation was conducted by surgeon Christian Barnard, and even though the patient died 18 days later, it was considered a success. This is because he died from double pneumonia, but his body had not rejected the heart. And from that moment on, it paved a whole new pathway into heart surgery, which has helped millions of people. Now, one thing about South Africa is there are some beaches that you can go and hang out with penguins, which I find very weird because I thought penguins really liked the cold. Believe it or not, there are various breeding colonies of African penguins, also known as the jackass penguin. They are usually found on the western coast of South Africa, and one of the most Famous places to visit these birds is in Boulders Beach, which is just south of Cape Town. With over 6 million trees, Johannesburg is considered to have the largest man made forest on the entire planet. Originally, Johannesburg was considered a grassland, but they changed that relatively quick. This is because trees were planted in the 19th century in order to provide wood for the growing mining industry. One amazing thing that I always loved about South Africa is if you look at the map, you will find something very odd about it. And that is the country known as Lesotho, which is completely landlocked and surrounded by the entire country of South Africa. And although it is its own country, if you look on a map and talk to some people, some people will say it should have just been part of the country. One other really interesting thing that is a coincidence 
coincidence within South Africa is it's the only country in the world to have two Nobel Peace Prize winners who had houses on the same street. This is Vilikazi Street in Soweto, Johannesburg, and the Nobel Prize winners that lived on that street were Nelson Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. However, South Africa is not just a place of science and opportunity, it's also a place of sport. With soccer or football, however you want to pronounce it, being one of the most popular sports within the country, South Africa was the first African country to host the FIFA World Soccer Cup in 2010. But that's not the only sport it can pull a record from. It is only the second country in the world to have hosted cricket, rugby union, and soccer world cups after England. And not only that, but there is one other thing that the country can be really proud of. It is the only country in the entire world to build nuclear weapons and to voluntarily dismantle its own nuclear weapons program. And to this day, there is no country that has ever done it on a voluntary basis. South Africa may be on the southern tip of Africa, but it accounts for almost 25% of the GDP of the entire African continent. Its economy is twice the size of Algeria, which comes in second of GDP. But that's it guys, that's just a taste of what this great nation is. My name is Dave Wobble and we want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode and taking time to learn about either your country or other countries around the world. But before I get out of this video guys, I want to let you guys know we are trying to incorporate you, our viewers, our fan base into our own videos. As you know, we do videos on so many different countries, we talk about people and places, and we want you guys to send us photos or video footage of you guys within your country so we can use it in a future video. But other than that, I'm Dave Wapple. Thank you guys for watching. We have just once again touched on an amazing country. South Africa is a country of proud and creative people, and although the country has seen its dark moments around equal, political, and social rights, it has an astonishing history in culture, science, understanding, and art. A nation of people that have a unique story to tell, a country that may be very far south, but has a voice that is heard far north.